Hey guys, Simply Betty here. Today starts a few days of vlogging. I have a lot of little tiny tasks to do over the next few days, so I thought it'd be fun. The first thing of which is I have to bring my little lizard, Baby the Crested Gecko, to the vet today. Yep, she's going to the vet. I have her here in a little shoe box, and we're about to walk inside. Don't be nervous, baby. Yeah, so Baby has not been eating as vigorously as I would like her to be eating, or it. You know, I don't know if it's male or female yet, I've just been calling it a her. And of course that spooks me a little bit, so I'm getting a checkup. Even if you just have a pet gecko, it's important to know that you might have to go to the vet sometimes. Hey, where are you going? I love Baby, she's so cool. I hope it's a female. That way I could get her like a little friend someday. Not that lizards need friends, but I need, I need a lizard, another one, definitely. Come here, cutie. Yeah, so baby has not been eating as well as I would like, and I haven't been able to find any solid poos in her terrarium, and that just makes me feel like she needs a checkup, which is fine by me. I'm lucky to have an exotic animal vet sort of in my area, and that's pretty, that's pretty cool because I don't exactly live in a big town or a big city. Um, I actually live in a fairly small place, so I'm pretty happy to have an exotic animal vet nearby. So the vet's been in. Nothing seems obviously wrong with her besides the fact that she's a little bit small. But we're going to go ahead and treat for parasites. Just start eating, baby. It's all I ask. Well, eating better. You can make another dose up if this doesn't work, but... Give her lip. All you need is one drop. This one had a little more than one drop. Oh man, I've had a busy day so far. So I brought the lizard to the vet. And just to reiterate, she looks like she's doing okay, a little on the small side, according to the vet. But I've been given a few preventative deworming medications, which I'm gonna go ahead and go through because I've never done a dewormer with this little guy before. I really hope that her appetite gets stimulated and I'll just see what happens. I, I might be making a big deal over nothing. I just don't know because I'm such like a novice gecko keeper but I don't want to be a novice gecko keeper. I want to be really good at it. But this is just part of the learning experience, I guess. After I brought baby to the vet, I brought her back home and I picked up a bunch of fish because I sell my bettas to my local pet store. And they called me up and said, hey, where we want six or seven more. Can you bring some over? And I was like, yeah. So I went ahead and chose six fish and brought them over. I like my local pet store a lot. And I'm actually going to be redoing their little, their beta section, which I'm pretty excited about. I've already started and I might make a little series about it uh, coming up in the future once I get along a little better and some more things are decided. But I'm pretty excited about revamping their beta section and maybe their entire fish section. It's pretty cool, I like that kind of thing. So tonight I'm going to be filming this hobbit tank as a practice session. I need to teach myself more about how to properly use my camera to get some really great footage and I'm going to practice tonight because pretty soon this Hobbit Tank video is going to come out on my channel. You know, I, I need to make a, a night where I just practice filming it. And then hopefully by the time I make this little vlog video, this video behind me will have already been released. So this tank, I actually made my own decorations for it. I did everything. So at the end of this little vlog, I'll have a link to it, or you can just look on my channel and check it out and tell me what you think. I'm really nervous about this Hoppa Tank video coming out. This tank is like three years in the making. I've never shared it, and it just makes me a little bit nervous. It's Christmas today, Merry Christmas. Well, by the time I make this video, it will be in the past. I had such a busy Christmas, uh, you know, waking up, having the whole morning with the toddler and opening presents and all that, and then a family brunch, and then cleaning up from the brunch, and all this chaos that goes along with all the messes. But then, on top of that, when my little baby went to nap, I went ahead and I took these two tanks here. That These are just extra tanks of mine that have been sitting around for a while, not really doing much. I decided to finally clean them up because I'm gonna put them on Facebook Marketplace and just like get rid of them. Oh, what is this, like a 45 gallon? And then this here is kind of a weird, really uh, deep one. I think it's about 60 gallons. I just picked these up used on Facebook or on Craigslist and they, they serve their purpose. I wanna get rid of them now. So there's my excitement for the day besides the Christmas excitement and I'm pretty tuckered out now. Now I have to go do water changes and which is gonna take me like an hour, an hour and a half of pure labor, and then I'll be able to relax. 
Okay, another day, another little set of chores. So I had two 10-gallon tanks on my rack that I had a few videos ago, my fish room or my fish rack that I'm making. These aren't painted, so they don't match the rest of my tanks. I'll go ahead and I'll paint the bottoms and the backs today. It's another day and another set of chores. So right now I'm in the fish room and I have a couple spawn tanks with, with juveniles who are growing out and I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the males. Like in this one here, um, I definitely have some obvious males that are getting bigger and I'm starting to notice a couple, some nipped fins, so I'm gonna take some males out of here. And then, over here in this corner tank that I have a hard time getting to sometimes, a really nice copper spawn that I'm gonna go ahead and remove the males because I've, I've let them linger a little bit too long. Hey, pretty girl. I really like this female starting to marble out. These tanks look a lot more empty now because I removed a whole bunch of males. I think I took six coppers out of this one and then like five males, obvious males out of this one. Here's some little cups down here that I've put them in just so I can like look at them and make sure they're male and then I'm gonna go ahead and get them their each individual jar. I'm actually thinking about taking all of the koi females out of this tank to free it up Maybe I'll give them their each individual jar so I can photograph them, maybe get them for sale, bring them to the pet store, something, so I can free this tank up, so I can put new spawns in it. Maybe even make it prettier for my fish room beautification project. Because it's pretty ugly, you know, it's just a little container of dirt back there with some plants, a whole lot of algae, a whole lot of snails. Very healthy tank, but ugly. It's another day and I had this project planned out for today that I was going to film and put in this little vlog, but... It turns out I don't have a part for it. This is my air system back here. I have a pump uh, hidden back on this shelf and the pump delivers air to my, a PVC loop and I have valves um, kind of like this tapped into the loop and I was going to go ahead and add a few more valves um, for a few more filters but it turns out I'm out of these and I'm gonna have to order them. It'll probably be like a week before I even get them in the mail or more. So there goes this evening's project. Oh well, what else should I do? Hmm. So let's see. So I can do some water changes tonight. It takes me a while to do the whole fish room um, because I do a jarred system, which means I have to switch out the change out the water a lot on my grow out jars. And it's time consuming. So maybe I'll just get ready for that. This is my water change bucket. It's about 25 gallons, I think. Basically I fill it up, I treat it, I add my tannins, and I just, I pull from it, just using like, uh, I manually empty and fill each jar really, really gently, just by hand. Tonight I'll also be setting up some spawn tanks, because I plan on putting in some fish, like maybe this weekend or early next week. Hmm, what else? You know, I think I might do some photography tonight. I'm getting a whole lot of fish that are growing out that I can put on my website. I've been bringing a lot of them to the store, to my local pet store, but you know, I just have too many for them even. I'm gonna have to put them online and update my website. So these little tanks, I put these together uh, a couple videos ago and they're working really well, but I should go ahead and clean them. I'm, if you look, I'm getting some hard water deposits, which, you know, I don't like that in my photos, so I'll go give these a nice cleaning, and then probably get some fish ready for pho photography. So I've been working for a while now trying to get some nice pictures of these black females. It's hard work. I'm sitting here in the fish room. I'm sitting, I sit on a five gallon bucket turned upside down, and I just sit here with the camera and I try to get some good shots. Um, here, let's check out my setup real fast. So what I do is I have these two fish, fish um, carded and then I'll go ahead and take the card off and usually I get some pretty good results although this female in the front she's a little distracted she's not wanting to look back at the other fish and flare it's like she's not really interested so she's not being a very good subject right now so because she's not being a very good subject I'm gonna remove her just set her aside for a bit and put a new fish in the foreground um, that will hopefully take a better picture. I removed that female and I put in a new one. This little cup, it just helps acclimate to temperature. So I'll leave her in there for a couple minutes and then I'll release her into the photo tank. It's been in here for a few minutes, just getting used to the place, getting used to the light. Now let's see what happens when I remove the cards. These females are usually pretty good flarers. I've been flare training them for a while. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get some good photos. So I'm gonna stop the video and take some pictures.
I think I got some good shots out of this. I'll have to go through my camera later and see. Um, I'm on my, let's see, I've done five black females. They're not full black. They're a cross between a really nice dragon and a super black. They're partial dragons. That's why they have some of the shimmery blue to them. Uh, they're, so they're not full dragons, they're partial dragons. Thanks for watching guys. Over the past few days I've just been doing a lot of kind of small oddball tasks and I thought I'd make an interesting video. Most of my chores are, you know, I just do a little bit each day. I don't always have big projects going on. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a like, maybe a subscribe if you're not already. I'll have some neat things coming up. See you guys later.